Hi everyone, so this is lesson four in the radiance pack. It's quite a nice little lesson this. Uh, it's just using something called small angle approximations. So we use this quite a lot and the, the biggest thing we'll use it for is if we're doing first principles for trig functions. Right, so the idea is if your trig function is in radians and your angle is small, then I can use a different approximation. So it's what a pi by 2 in there and a minus pi by 2. So if you look around here, here's my sine x and there's my y equals x. Around here they look the same. So we're kind of saying that this, this first one here in the box, that if it was sine theta we can say that it's roughly theta. Right, so let's do the third one along here which is the tan graph. So I've got tan x and I've got y equals x. And a similar idea, if the angle's small, it looks like the same thing. So tan theta is approximately theta. The cos one's a little bit more messy, because I'm, I'm using 1 minus a half x squared. So if I was just using minus x squared, it'd kind of go through these points here, wouldn't it? On my dodgy picture. Oops, very dodgy. So then to kind of push it out a bit, I switch it from minus x squared to minus a half x squared, so that pushes it out, but then I need to move it up by one, so it becomes one minus a half x squared. So it kind of looks the same, if the angle's quite small, there. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? So that gives us our one minus a half x squared. Now one thing you have to be careful of with these is when you're subbing in. So I always get people to put the thetas, which one theta? Get, put the thetas in brackets. So when you sub it in, that theta, sorry. When you sub it in, you know that it's um, it's going to work fine. Because people sub in and do it wrong. So it says here, valid from minus 1 to 1. Right, so let's have a look at this example. With this one, you have to change it into radians first. And then we'll do the approximation. Now, I've not seen a question like this on an exam paper, but you never know, do you? Right, so we know for 2 degrees, if we were to change it into radians, we want to times it by pi over 180. Because 2 pi radians represents 360. And we always remember that pi radians represents 180 degrees. So that means then it's pi by 90. So my sine 2 degrees is now sine of pi by 90. And if I use my approximation, which is sine theta, is approximately theta. That means then that sine 2 is approximately pi by 90. There. Which, if you stick it in your calculator, is roughly 0.034. There you go. One little example done. Like I say, I've never seen anything like that particularly in the exam paper, but there's no real reason why I can't. Right, so it says find an approximate for expressions and put them as quadratics. Now it does tend to tell you that it's small angles, which is helpful. Right, so put my brackets in here, look, see, so I don't stuff this up. So I know that tan theta is approximately theta. And cos theta is approximately 1 minus a half theta squared. So my tan 3 theta, if I replace the theta with a 3 theta, so my tan of 3 theta, that becomes 3 theta. My 2 lots of cos 4 theta becomes 2 lots of, so I'm going to change the cos 4 theta, into 1 minus a half of, I'm going to be really careful because I need to square the 4 theta first before halving it. So I've got 3 theta here, I've got 2 lots of 1 minus, so the 4 theta squared is 16 theta squared, a half of that, so it's 8 theta squared. What people do